it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have for you a slightly late because I missed the email for some reason um, but the Sue Wilson launch is what we've got here and we're doing the whole video of that and I've also just got a couple of other bits as well to share with you but essentially it's Sue Wilson so I'm sorry it's very slightly late I am super excited to share it with you because our stitched line theme is continuing um, so Sue did say keep watching and uh, it's really good I'm excited so first of all just before we get started with the Sue Wilson stuff I just thought I'd share with you some cardstock that I ordered from Create and Craft there was a special on um, I think it might have been a members event or something anyway they had some American Craft cardstock which I adore I love American Crafts cardstock cardstock because for me this is the cardstock that I use as almost exclusively with my Cricut machine because it just cuts so beautifully and of course American Crafts have now taken over coordinations so um, in the same show we had some coordinations and we've got here a pack of 200 sheets in the eight and a half by 11 so that's the American letter size in all these beautiful colours so you can see here it is a lot and a lot of st I love that green a lot of stunning stunning colours um, I would say this isn't quite thick enough for me anyway to make a card base this one um, but it is gorgeous and I suspect that it's going to cut really nicely in the Cricut as well so that was there and then there was a you buy three of these packs and you get an offer to be honest. these are so pretty this is a pastel collection I know I'm going fairly quick but I do want to get on to the Sue and the creative expression stuff and this is your brights And of course these are all 12 by 12s. Whoops, that was a little bit too quick even for, for going quickly, wasn't it? So that's your brights now. It does, they are different to this, although these are quite bright as well. These are the tropical. So that's the cardstock. Okay, so then I've got, as I say, the Creative Expressions and mostly Sue Wilson, although there is a few little distress inks in there. So let's start off with Sue. Now, as always, I haven't ordered every single thing in the, in the launch. I order a good selection of it, though, for you um, so that you can take a look and get a feel for the launch. So what I usually do, and I will try to do this time, is I put the PDF that has the entire launch um, up on the blog post that goes with this video. If you're on YouTube, click on the link below this video where it says show more that'll open it up and then you'll find a link to the corresponding blog post if you click on that it'll take you to my website to the blog post that goes with this video and then you'll find all the links to the products that as best as I'm able to do so um, that I'm showing you today and also this PDF that I'm talking about here okay but let's stop the chatter and get on with the nice exciting stuff okay so the first thing we've got here is stitched it's the finishing touches stitched hills and clouds which I think are gorgeous I am loving this I love clouds anyway and I just think this is so nice and they are really good size aren't they look at that so that's those I haven't seen these by the way I literally uh, they arrived today I haven't opened it until I just came here I unwrapped it and it's still exactly as it was you saw so that I could share it with you as I opened it which was really hard to do because I was desperate to rip it open and have a good look okay so then we've got frames and tags this is Julia isn't that beautiful I love all these um, lattice and stuff as well so that's really very much me and that's got your 
outer die, your decorative die, an inner circle there that's got stitch lines and then a single line circle underneath that that has nothing, it's just a single circle and then you've got your lattice in the middle so that's really nice. So, right so I've got this necessities collection, I've got a couple in that and this is rain or shine again if you have a look that's got the stitching all the way around all of those and again they're very good size what I like is that they're not like massive but they're not stupid small either um, I hate it when you have die cut sentiments and you pull them out and because they're so tiny and thin and delicate you can't actually get them out of the die without ripping them mind you I don't know about you guys but I don't tend to have that problem with Sue dies they just pop out easy as pie even the really intricate ones but anyway we've got little raindrops little set there and then a tiny tiny set and some little flowers and stars beautiful umbrella really really pretty like that then I have got this necessities lift your spirits again we've got stitching on here we've got this gorgeous balloon and I think this is the one that goes with these yeah look so we've got these little treat cups in the small circle it's a one and three quarter diameter so that's going to go inside fit inside that little balloon beautifully and you've got wishes so you've got sending birthday wishes sending wishes your way get well soon or just birthday wishes so you've got quite a few different options there which is kind of cool so I like in that and then there's our treat cups so I think there might be something else that goes with those but I, I'm not sure if I ordered them but I'm positive there was something else that went with them so then we've got necessities you are my sunshine I love rainbows I just adore rainbows and this one looks like it's going to be gorgeous look it's even got little stitching around the heart so we've got to brighten your day you are my sunshine more hearts little tiny birdies the cloud and that's going to go gorgeous with our balloon our background of our clouds and hills so it's all going to work together really really nicely oh this is actually one die which is kind of cool um so you could it looks like when you look at it, I don't know if you can see it because it's so many lines. There's like a the stitch lines, but then there's a cut line between. But that cut line doesn't go right to the end. So I think if you look really closely there, you can see the cut line where the white is of that little line coming down. It doesn't go quite to the end. So I suspect what you could do is cut that out as one piece and leave it as one piece and it would kind of be slightly separated but if once you stuck it down it would be fine or you could cut it out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times and, paper, and then just snip at the ends here to break it up and get seven multicoloured rainbows or you could cut it in white which is something I would do and then colour each piece if, if you didn't want to make like multiples of it then you could do it that way so there's lots of different options and then we've got these which is lovely and again not too big not too small see do you think I'm a bit of a Sue Wilson fan I think I might be okay I'm loving this another I'm really into my sentiment size at the moment I've just um I didn't before when Sue first started bringing them out I was like really why do we want sentiments for you know I just stamp it but I'm now really sort of liking it and getting into it not just with this brand but with other brands as well anyway this is called the expressions range and it's ransom note birthday happy birthday obviously and a single die pretty decent size well more than a pretty decent size a good size that's a, a card isn't it you could use that as a as a main feature this this is the next one it's called Ma finishing Tus touches not tusks um majestic tree it is three dies which i wasn't expecting to be honest and you have got so you've got the trunk so you could have a bear tree you've got the 
external leaf branch area and then you've got your leaves themselves in the middle and what you've got on the leaves is you've got a cut line which comes to oh, it's almost like a, a funny shape horseshoe in that this bit at the top here of that shape has not got a cut in it so these will lift up as you can see on here they've kind of indicated you can pop them up but they won't come out which is really cool again that's going to look so nice with those um clouds and stuff as well isn't it and then i have got finishing touches oak leaf swag i absolutely love this i loved how this really swirled around i thought it was absolutely beautiful and you can see also on here we've got some embossing now this particular one isn't um in this launch as i said to you i'm a bit into the sentiments at the moment and so i ordered a sentiment from a previous collection that i hadn't ordered previously because as i said i wasn't into it then but i am now and i just thought this was lovely i really like this font but i think that is lovely and again a really nice size so now to the industrial collection. So you can see there's a few, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, die packs in this collection. So let's start with this. We have got uh, Industrial Chic, Butterfly and Dragonfly. I just think that's so clever. For me, in my mind's eye, I can see that something like a butterfly that's normally quite a feminine Im image you can turn into um, and use on a masculine card and vice versa you can turn something that like this industrial chic stuff which is normally perhaps something we would use maybe for our guys cards we could use and turn it into something much more feminine because of their styling so i'm really liking that i'm going to put this down here so we can see them when it's finished and now we have here industrial chic mixed essential oh i tell you what i didn't do did i i didn't turn it over <gasps> how terrible so we can see it roughly a size look at the detail somehow when you see it, it says this is actual size but it it looks bigger doesn't it but look at the detail on that incredible so that's that one and then we've got our wow look at that and then you've got this beautiful wings a nail a, I don't know is that a screw I don't know um cogs and keys and all sorts of manly things apart from him I mean again I could probably you could probably make it girly but apart from him all of those could easily be feminized feminized I don't think that's a real word but we'll go with it okay so now we've got industrial chic frame and tag wow and that says that's actual size that's insane and it's got three dies oh i see i can see it all now so you've got this beautiful external decorative piece which you can leave with a solid piece of card in the middle if you don't use any of these um and then stamp your sentiment or whatever or you could cut it out to make an aperture in the center of this or you could not use it at all and you could just use this in the middle i don't know if these would layer and how they would look i would imagine looking at the front it would look kind of funky you could, so you could layer it up if you took that piece and not cut it and so you layered it on top of the card or you could layer it into the aperture so so many options just from three little eyes okay and now we have industrial chic swirl i'm loving my swirls and again very feminine and yet easily turned over to be masculine so this is what i love you're getting a lot of use out of these and when i saw these i was like initially it was like oh industrial when i just saw the name i didn't hadn't even particularly looked at them and i was thinking well that's not going to be really my thing because i'm not really well that said I've, I've just started using the tim holtz as you know i've been trying to venture into some new things and do some new things and different things with you guys because i try to make sure that i'm have a very wide variety of different techniques and styles on here for you and that was something i knew that i was lacking in and so i'd started it and then this comes out and it was kind of like 
okay. And then I saw it and I thought, ah, she Sue Wilsoned it. And it's beautiful. And yet it's masculine and feminine and you can get so much value out of it. So, enough chitty chattering, let's to the next one. Uh, so you've got industrial chic background, three dies. So let's have a look, you've got the beautiful edge. I am loving that. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying that because it's obvious I'm loving it. I love everything. And then we've got the single um, rectangle die there, single line. And then we've got this very intricate centre panel, which you could, if you took that on its own, you could keep put, cut it there, then put it next to the, and keep going and cut a whole big panel of it, couldn't you? It should be really funky or go the other way so that you continue it as one long border piece which again would look so funky it would be nice so you've got another thing you know like a border that you, is not being included okay a single die this is industrial chic corner and again very good size by the way, just to say, I will put the link on my website blog post as well. So do definitely go on hopping over to there because you'll get a lot of information. But I'll put a link on there to Sue Wilson's blog. She posts every single day, not necessarily a video, but she puts a card um, photograph up, there's competitions. So for example, this that's just launched, there'll be loads of ideas. She'll be putting up lots of card ideas for you of this with this collection so it's really really helpful so I will put a link to her website on my blog post that goes with this video again go below the video if you're on YouTube click on show more find the corresponding blog post link and click on that and you'll find all the info that you need so that is all of my Sue Wilson I think oh no it's not I'm telling fibs I just spied I just thought so it was not right hold on just ignore all of that I have some more it was hiding I think there's only one more Sue Wilson but it was hiding under all these ink pads I'm getting it it's coming it's coming oh uh oh did you hear that so I'm super, this is probably one of the ones that I thought I was most excited about, but I'm not sure now having seen all those, it's all really hard. She makes it very difficult for me to be honest. But I am super excited about this because this is something that we had talked about, you, you and I, or well, you and I, <laughs> and I'd asked you, you know, what do you think? And you'd all said to me, yeah, yeah, we want this too. And this was the stitch lines thing. But up until now, although she'd put it on a lot of stuff we hadn't had like the basic shapes too much with the stitch lines we'd had a few like on the edge of some lattice work or whatever but uh, this is like a proper full set of um, rectangles with our stitch lines this is our noble collection double stitched rectangles and I am so excited about this and I am really really hoping that this means that there are more shapes to come because Sue, I think, was worried that as a customer, we would think that, well, you've already bought out rectangles, they've got do um, the piercing on them, um, why do we need another set with stitching on? And I was trying to say, me as a crafter, I would like both, but then I'm probably a little greedy piglet, but I'm sure I'm not the only little greedy piglet for crafting out there. And also people then have choices as well if they don't want both they can choose which design they prefer um and i'm getting the impression that you lot were not the only lot and me not the only ones that were kind of saying please we want this so hopefully fingers crossed this is the beginning of the basic shapes i am loving all the rest of it don't get me wrong but I really wanted these basic shapes and this is a great one to start with anyway I mean rectangles is like rectangles and squares are the shapes obviously that most of us use the most so I'm really hoping and I was so excited when I saw that and I was that is the last Sue Wilson set of dies in this collection however I do have some more dies you know you may remember that i also am rather in love with phil martin stuff he also works with creative expressions he um has bought out the sentimentally yours range with creative expressions he had done um the 
oh, texture paste, I couldn't think, texture paste sprays in, in his colour sets and um, do you recall a, oh, a couple of months back I showed you like the beautiful green and yellow and blue and pink and all of those, that was Phil Martin and I love 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 his stuff and then he brought out some stencils and he's got some gorgeous stamps, I don't have that many of his stamps to be honest, I really need to get some more but I just get a bit distracted with all the other yummy stuff. Well it was because of his stuff actually that I decided to venture into this more mucky craft, you know, the, the texture paste and all of that, which wasn't really my thing, but I just loved the colours. Well, he's now started doing some dyes. I think he's been doing that for a little, what, about six months or more now. And I told you that I was a little bit into the sentiments and I saw that he had some sentiment dyes out. So I got some. And I'm curious to see, because obviously they're made by the same people, they're just designed by different people, so they'll be the same quality dye as Sue Wilson. But they'll just have different styling, obviously, because he's designed them. So I think this will be quite interesting, because they'll work as beautifully. So we've got here, Scribbled Collection, Milestone Occasion. I just think this is a really, really handy set, actually on your wedding, on your engagement, anniversary or retirement and then you've got some little squiggly lines as well and again not too big but not too small really liking those then I have got Scribbled Collection um, and by the way he's got lots of different collections so this is from the Scribble Collection because I like the font but there's more blocky font if you prefer that more bolder fonts there's more kind of I think there's some old English type styling so there's different ones and there's not just um, sentiments he's got other things going as well um, anyway, so this is called New Sentiments, as in, I guess, a new home, a new baby girl, a new baby boy, a new job, and some more squiggly bits. And that's your dies on the back. And I really like that writing, I think it's really cool. And then we've got Scribble Collection Birthday Wishes, Happy Birthday, Special Greetings and Wishes, so I guess it could be Special Wishes, um birthday wishes, birthday greetings, special birthday, uh, happy wishes? Nah, doesn't really work does it? <laughs> um, and then your dies. So that is all of the dies that I've got. Now I did get one other thing, this is another Phil Martin, you may recall from that uh, haul video that I just talked about with the texture paste etc I had a number of stencils that he brought out including ones that were sten sentiment stencils but I saw these lovely fir trees and I just thought these are going to be so lovely for Christmas cards obviously but for other things as well and I did think that they would go really nicely with that Sue Wilson actually the hills and um, I know it's a stencil versus a die, but I think it would still work. And then the last thing I got was some Distress Oxide inks. Um, since I last showed you, again, in a haul video, and obviously you've had a project video using the Distress Oxide just recently, they had bought out, or Tim had bought out, some more colours. Um, these all matching in with his Distress Ink range colours, so they're all colours you will be familiar with, but he's picked out another bunch and brought them out, and I really, really liked these Distress Oxide. Now, the only thing that is um, that for technical reasons, they cannot produce these in the smaller little baby... Um, uh, ...cubes. So... Uh, you have to get them in this normal regular size. So here's the colours as a whole. Um, not really well set out but um, I'll just read them through and I'll... I'll um, so you've got here black soot which I'm surprised wasn't in the first set to be honest but anyway black soot, seedless preserves, abandoned coral, picked raspberry, peacock feathers, antique linen, salty ocean, lucky clover, wild honey, twisted citron, I love this colour, frayed burlap and candied apple. I think at the moment I am up to date, so if you look at my previous video with the oxides that 
uh, was the haul video I mean and then this one you should see the entire collection um, and if you want to see a project video that I've done using the oxides then again go to my blog post I'll link that project in that I've just done for you so again if you haven't seen it you can see it and see how they work okay so that is it for today I hope you have enjoyed taking a little peek at this uh, latest Sue Wilson collection and others stuff and don't forget to go across to the blog post to see all those other things that I've talked about, the other links etc that we mentioned throughout this video and also the links to these products as well. Okay thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you again soon. Bye for now, bye!